Look at that. Uh, yeah, but if we if we count Rap Rock, then we get to. I I think that that counts because then we can also get the Juggalos. Oh my God! Oh my God! Juggalo. Because if we get that full evolution, oh my God. that is a Juggalo as a Pokemon 100%. <laughs> oh my god. I just scrolled through this to the point where I'm seeing people I'd forgotten about, like Jeezy. <laughs> Jeezy is from Atlanta, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think he was. See, so yeah, that this is how I yeah. rock, right? Yeah, he's from Atlanta. Now I'm just going through, I'm thinking about rappers and what Pokemon yeah, I want to make. what Pokemon a rap each rappers are. I can't think of one for Andre 3000. I know, that's the one that I saw earlier and I was like, I love Andre 3000. <laughs> right? Andre 3000, great. Yeah. But one of the guys that I work with now, a big fan of Big Crit, who I had never heard of. I have no clue who that is. I don't know, he did the Hawks hype song this year. Sure. I don't... I haven't heard that, but okay. Me neither. And he's like, yeah, you haven't heard a bit crit. And I was like, no. Because I don't think it's a person. <laughs> I think you're lying to me. Uh, Afro Man learned copycat. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, man. And Childish Gambino? That would be a fun one. God, look at how these guys, I totally forgot them. Oh. Give me another one. What you got? Well, I'm like seeing people that I barely know. Like, uh... Like, like Lil Uzi Vert. Oh, Louis, Lil Uzi. I love Lil Uzi. Uh, what's that, what's that Pokemon that everybody on Twitter's... Like, they want him out of the game because he's super violent? Uh... I don't know what he is, but we're naming oh. that one XXX Tentacion. <laughs> <laughs> and like oh, the real question is if we catch what's his name Grubbin yeah wait no Grubbin's the bug Pokemon what's the uh, what's the trash Pokemon's name Trubbish Trubbish and Garbodor Garbodor oh, Tupac yeah I mean like we can get into old ones too is the fun thing with this and there's a really a lot we can't do. We really should have named him Swiper, though, I'm thinking. Swiper's not a rapper. I know. <laughs> also, like... I... So far, in reality, I know one of these rappers. Afro Man. That's Afro Man. Yeah. Whose career ended before I knew who he was. <laughs> I know, I know the other two. I know Twenty One Savage and Will Point. All right, Perloin. If this Perloin kills Will Point, I'm gonna be big mad. <sighs> She's gonna catch it. Why are you just looking at pictures? I'm of just looking. At, I'm Pokemon? just looking at Genius.com. Who are the top five most popular rappers? Oh, let me, I gotta hear that. All right. Let's start at five. Uh-huh. Kendrick Lamar. No, I don't know much about the rap scene. But I feel like he's had a pretty good career. I feel like he should be higher on that list. Four. Eminem. All right, I'm ready to throw this list. Three. Jay-Z. Uh, Two. Kanye West. I hate this list. Number one. Drake. Is it? Isn't that? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Glad I'm not showing my screen. Uh, this is like the worst list ever. It's not good. It's very not good. Freaking zoomers. Because BET did a countdown of the top 100 rappers of the 2000s. Uh huh. Well, you can pull that list up. Uh, I don't know. That was a show. That was like a Although, series. So I don't gotcha. know if, if it still exists. Man, I hope so. Because I'd really like to see that list. 
Because I trust BET a lot more than I trust Genius. Genius is run. Ooh, I kind of want to heal up before I do this battle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are we allowed to use potions and stuff? We just can't use them in battle, right? Isn't that a normal Nuzlocke rule? I don't, I don't have a problem with using them in battle. Alright, well, I, I don't ever use them in battle anyways, because I'm not. Pussy. What's Billboard? That's medium genius ranker. I don't trust Billboard. They named Lil Nas X Lil Nas X today, and they congratulated <laughs> him. <laughs> Dude, shout out to Lil Nas X for being Lil Nas X. If there's one person who's Lil Nas X, it's definitely him. Did you watch that, um... Ten... Uh, top 10 rappers in 20th century. This isn't the one I was thinking of, but... 20th century? Dude, people have only been rapping for like 30 years. <laughs> Listen, it counts. This is the 20th century, so this is up until 99. Oh, okay. So it does not go into 2001. Oh. Into 2000, 2001. Uh, Scarface, I don't know. That's a movie. Let's start at 10. Yeah. Well, they won't let me. Also, it's not in any some any sort of fucking order. LL Cool J. All right. Snoop Dogg. Okay. KRS One. Do you know who that is? Not a clue. All right. Tupac. Okay. Rakim. Who's that? He's in the Wu Tang Clan. Oh, all right. Nas. Uh -huh. Notorious B.I.G. Scarface. Oh, look at this That's a movie. Boy. He's so like he's so ugly. He's like if Squirtle and Mudkip were crossbred. Crossbred and inbred. Yeah. Jay Z DMX. God, you love DMX. Yeah. If we get beware, can we name him BMX or DMX? Yeah. Can we name him BMX? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's bikes. He's like bikes. God, dude, DMX is... What? Wasn't he in jail for that? What was he in jail for? DMX? Yeah. Taxes? <sighs> <laughs> I think. Come on, X. You know you got it. He's gonna give it to you, but not not that tax money. I was saying not gonna give it to the government. He don't know that shit tight. Okay, common rap. Uh, uh, Dude, I comments. have never once heard a common song. Me either. Common, above... seem, common seems like a great guy. Seems like a great guy. Great actor. Yeah. Hell on Wheels. Fantastic in that. That movie about the fucking Yetis. What? He was in an animated oh, movie. Oh yeah, about yeah I know. Channing Tatum. I forgot about that, and I thought Common did a live-action film about Yetis. <laughs> yeah, and I it was, was a documentary be, about Yetis with Common. I was gonna be so and use, bad using the power of Google, Google <laughs> uh, satellites. Hey Google, <laughs> to track show me the Yeti. <laughs> here you go, right here. Did you claim your Google Home Mini through Spotify? What? No. Yeah, like two months ago, it ended. I, it ended last week. Like, if you had a Spotify Premium account, you yeah. got a free Google Home Mini. Damn it, I didn't know about that. Yeah, so I have a Google Home Mini now. Now, oh. it took five weeks to be delivered. That's all right. I'm still waiting on my shirt from Facebook Gaming for, for streaming. Oh, boy. I bet Karen took it. Oh. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I love it, dude. I can set I can set like routines and stuff. Yeah. So when I come home or like when I wake up in the morning, it's just like, hey Google, good morning. And then it's like, here's like all of your events on your Google calendar today. And then it tells me like what the weather's gonna be like. And then I've got it set up to where it like shuffles my Spotify playlist. Yeah. So I can just kinda jam out right there in the morning. Why I, I mean, I didn't claim my like that, but I do have an Alexa. Book Alexa. Google Home Mini is where it's at. The one I got is a coral code, and it's beautiful, and I love it. This dude just ate a nut. He did. Oh, wait, it was a berry. It was a berry, yeah. It looked like Also, a that's the power of of his his cheap pouch there. Because he ate a berry, the berry was to heal him, and then his ability... Doubled it? Heals you whenever you eat any berry. Huh. 
Yeah. Uh, he's gonna be okay for competitive. Not at a top scene, but at like a middling online it. scene. Huh. Uh, I have here the Billboard Top okay, 10 right. Best Rappers of All Time. Of all time. Of all time. Of this all this was created time. November 12th, 2015. Bro, if Drake is in the top 10. Number 10, Lil Wayne. Okay. I respect it. Uh, I give Tunchi as Number 9. Or, yeah, Kendrick Lamar. Alright, it says Mystery Gift, and we've got a new one. Maybe it was just, okay, I think it was just new. Yeah, it was just, it was just because Mystery Gift had popped up across there. Uh, number 8, Ghostface Killer. Alright. Now I we're now we're in my round. Oh, dude, we could have got a yamper. Could have gotten a yamper here. Uh, I love this little boy. Number seven, Lauren Hill. All right. Oh, there's my boy. Oh, she's from the she's with the Fugees. Oh, killing them softly. <laughs> Yeah. No? Okay. I'm, I'm, you good? That one. Andre that 3000, one. number six. Yeah! All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Nas. Nice. Number okay. five. All right, I respect it. I really... I, you big Nas nice fan? I like Nas. Nice. He was in the Tony Hawk games often. God, I love the Tony Hawk games. Yeah. Have we played Tony Hawk on the channel? We have not. Can we? I mean... We can. The problem is music. Oh yeah, all of that shit's gonna get yeah fucking... flagged as fuck. Rakeem. Yeah, that's right. Maybe we can just play the game. Eminem, number three. They put Rakeem. Jay Z, number two. Notorious B.I.G. number one. I don't like the list. Lil Pump's not on it. <laughs> it's 2015. Lil Pump wasn't born yet. I was like, Lil Pump, yeah. Lil Pump, Lil Pump was straight up like probably 13 <laughs> when that list came out. That dude's like 18 years old. Yeah, we got a ranker here, which lets you vote the fans. Oh, nice. Number. Well, it's number one is Eminem. Well, no. That's a down. Number two is. B.I.G. They really Tupac, put Eminem on top Kendrick of B.I.G.? So let me tell you, the B.E.T. one had Eminem at number one. Of the two, of the two thousands, Eminem at number one. I get er Lil Wayne at number two. Kanye at number three. That's all I remember from watching that special was that was the top three. Now granted, I'm not very tapped into the hip hop culture. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> That's fair. I Eminem. Not that I don't like something different. Culture. I don't like Eminem. Okay. I think Eminem. I think Eminem has played a very. God, we are just not talking about Pokemon at all. No, that's the <laughs> point. Um. I feel like Eminem has been making the exact same songs and has played the exact same character for a long time. And, and when he doesn't, no one likes it, though. So. Well, yeah, because like at one like because his diehard fans are those dudes who like punch holes in drywall. Kyle's. They're Kyle's. They're big his, fans. His of target Oscar. audience is Kyle's. It's people with anger problems, people with drug problems, and like white dudes who love rap music hate black people. That's his audience. And to me, that's just so upsetting. And it's yeah. fucking. I hate that BET put him as one. Uh, I don't think I know more than one Biggie song. Oh, I don't. I'm not. Like I said, not tapped into the. Culture. Tupac. I can I can rattle off a list of probably five songs. You got me beat. Uh, I remember when Kendrick Lamar was real, real big. He's at number four here. It was a while. It was a while. It was several years. Yeah. Kendrick, Kendrick was on top of it. Now, I will say, I can't listen to whatever that... There's one song that he says syrup sandwiches in. 
and I can't listen to that song because I did find a YouTube video that was most of that song replaced with the phrase syrup sandwiches. <laughs> so now every time I hear it, all well, I can think about is syrup sandwiches. That's like the mom's spaghetti version <laughs> yeah. of, of that song, you know? Uh, we talked about Nas earlier. Uh, Dre? I mean, I like, I like some Dre. And he's fine in, my top, in a top ten. That makes sense. Alright, you know to me. who I haven't talked about yet? Ice Cube. Yeah. Now, I want any of these people in real life to tell Ice Cube that he's not a top 10 rapper of all time. Yeah. Ice Cube, I get it. Ice Cube softened up a little bit. He's got kids now. He's older. Yeah. He was still. Are we there limb yet? Limb from limb. You remember, you remember that movie? Are we there yet? Oh, yeah. I was <laughs> like, are we where? <laughs> that house in the background? No. We'll be there in three hours. Th that's another one with, with right above him on the list at seven, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Snoop Dogg was on trial for murder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was. Everyone's, like, young youngsters out here calling Snoop Dogg soft. And it's like, nah. <laughs> Not at all. Snoop Dogg did probably murder it. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Now, there is a dude that just dropped an album the other day, uh, YNW Melly or whatever, that like is being convicted of murder. Right yeah. Now. But like he, his album released the other day, and everybody's talking about how great of a rapper he is and how he needs to be freed. And I'm like, yo, I was like, and because there is a video that's gone viral that I know was like re recorded before the whole thing happened and all yeah. that, but where he is very calmly talking about murdering someone and i get it it's music like yeah not everything's serious i don't know uh at not at nine here uh my most experience with jay-z is through that crossover album with lincoln park i was gonna say it's lincoln park for sure <laughs> you retweeted something about it the other day yeah probably <laughs> like i don't know. i don't have any i don't have any bad opinions about jay-z uh in the 2000s, Kanye was fucking great. He was. Graduation came out, and in some other albums. And I uh, did not... Weights and Heartbreak. I haven't listened to his newest album. Jesus is King or whatever? Yeah, got no his kid. interest. No, I don't have interest in that at all. I don't have any interest in any music anymore. I listen Can... to podcasts and crappy punk rock from the 90s yeah. and early 2000s. Uh... <laughs> and some Harry Styles. Man, I love that dude. <laughs> so handsome. Uh, Fitty? Okay. In the club? Some, sometimes I forget that Fifty exists. Men, well, no, I know he exists because I love any like video of him ever. <laughs> but sometimes I forget he had a music career. Yeah. Because the two things I know about Fifty is he fucking hates Floyd, Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather. <laughs> And the dude got shot. That's yeah, nine all, times. That's all I know about 50 Cent. My favorite part about 50 Cent is that he keeps offering Floyd Mayweather money to read out loud. <laughs> I mean, $100,000. To read one page, page of a Harry, Harry Potter, Potter book. book. <laughs> oh, nice. I Dude, just, <laughs> I just watched that video the other day again. It's so good. It <laughs> did because he's so mad and mean for no reason. <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm sure he has a reason, oh, but... for sure. But I don't know it, and I'm fine with not knowing it. <laughs> uh, at twelve, they have J Cole. Okay, I know. I know one song for sure. I was a I was a big fan of J Cole when he dropped a what was it 2014 Four Hills Four Hills Drive. I liked it. I really liked that album. And then everybody was just kind of like J Cole sucks, and I was like, man, maybe I'm bad at listening to music. Yeah. And so I haven't listened to anything new from him. Um, Andre 3000, obviously. Uh, big part of Outcast. Uh huh. Uh -huh. With a uh, with Big Boy. Big Boy. Who I also love. I just like I just like uh, Outcast, and every year uh, April Fools rolls around, and, then and every year I die a little inside because of the <laughs> fake announcement of the next Outcast album. Don't knock a lot to you. I saw that MCR announcement, and I was like, "Damn!" I was like, "They got me a go April Fools," and I was like, "It's fucking November." <laughs> 
uh, easy. Nice. Lil Wayne. I, I, don't, I just listen. I've never thought he was a good rapper. Lil Wayne? Yeah. I think he. I think much like Eminem, he's got a very particular audience. Do you remember that song with Lil Wayne, Busta Rhymes, and Chris Brown? It's, yes. It starts with a Chris Brown verse. Uh huh. And then Busta. And then Busta is it just said, kicks Busta, in the door. Yeah. Busta <laughs> lets it loose. Busta is real. And then Lil oh, Wayne shows shit, up. Shit, dude. I know what song you're talking about. Something to yell. Look at me now. Yeah. I was gonna say something with a yellow Lamborghini. Yeah. The Suicide Doors. Hard car. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was a real big Chris Brown fan yeah. for a real long time. <laughs> My brother and I used to know every word to "Forever" by Chris Brown, and I knew all the words, and then he knew all like the backup vocal words. Yeah, and we used to just sit in the back of the car and perform that shit like we were something hot, dude. Because so I really was into like the fast rap thing. Uh huh. So, like, any time that the song had any part that was remotely fast like that, I would learn it. So, like, the first one that I caught myself doing that on, not a rap song, One Week by the Naked Ladies. Say, yeah, be <laughs> Dude, I couldn't, I never knew what the name of that song was with the band. All I remembered was it was in the fucking, like, intro to Digimon. Yep. God. I, want, I need to watch that movie again. If there's Busta down here under DMX. Uh, DMX, uh, also great. Yeah. Crazy. I'm gonna have to fight Hop, aren't I? Eventually. I, no, I think I fight him right here. No, because there's the ladies and them talking. I don't know. You, well, wanna I think, run, you wanna run back and heal? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pop some potions. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that works too. I just didn't know when I was going to fight him, but I'm pretty sure I fight him. That's fine. I'll take three. Alright, go ahead. Continue the uh, list. Method Man. Is that a good thing? Yeah. Okay, so But Red know. Man, who he does music with, is not part of Wu-Tang. Now what I'm wondering Or am I is get, Do where, I have them backwards? Where is LMFAO? Do what? Where is LMFAO? LMFAO? <laughs> Hang on, let me scroll down here. We're skipping back to a bunch of good... Yeah, let me find... <laughs> Let me let me find uh, um, sky blue and the other it's one. Something to do with Afro. I think it's something to do with Afro. Listen, listen, big boy's way too low. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not finding it. I'm sorry. That could be because they're classified as a as a uh, pop red foo. Red Foo, Red Sky, Foo Blue. Sky Blue. The new, the reason I know Sky Blue is because he's on a Shwayze song. All right, now I'm gonna tell you a fact that I did not know. Their uncle and cousin. Damn Their it. Their uncle and nephew. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got. I watched that you music. Really video. into LMFAO? No. Oh. I mean, I wasn't at times. Yeah, everyone was shuffle it. <laughs> okay, but I watched that video not too long ago for the first time in a while, and I think I watched it like six times in a row. Yeah, the choreography's phenomenal. It is, <laughs> and that it's amazing. <laughs> oh, did you see the Jabberwockies made a little comeback mm -hmm. for fucking the baby? Yeah. I've seen that video like six times as well. I, I, I haven't seen the that. Jabberwockies. I just saw someone retweeted the fact that the Jabberwockies tweeted about it. <laughs> it was probably probably. <laughs> I need you to go watch the video. <laughs> uh, I don't... Listen, I don't like Drake either. He's just no. kind of whiny. Yeah. Uh, Childish Gambino. Nice. Who... Who... I'm still waiting for Freaks and Geeks to get put on Spotify. If I can get Coca Butter Kisses on Spotify, I should be able to listen to Freaks and Geeks. But dude, they didn't put freaking acid on it. Yeah. Oh, no, they put acid They put on acid on it. They didn't put, um, juice. They didn't put juice on yep. Spotify. And that was my favorite song. I, like, clicked to that in that mixtape, and, hey, guys, it's me, Chance. Uh, we, tried with, <laughs> yeah. we tried real hard to get the song on, and we just couldn't. I was like, dude, what's the 
fucking point. Yep. Cocoa Butter Kisses is good. Man, I'm, man, a man, big, man. I'm a big fan of the intro. Ah! But fucking juice? <laughs> that song was so good. Uh, Nate Dog? He's old. I'm not. ASAP Rocky? You know what song got me into ASAP Rocky? His uh, collab with Skrillex. Yeah? Yeah. Back into the LMFAO era, I hear. <laughs> it was kind of my peak rap phase. Because <laughs> I was like, I was like right in like the end of middle school, beginning of high school, where I was like yeah. trying to find myself. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to be a rap fan. <laughs> And then I found my way back into emo, and then back into Blink-182, and then I just sat there. <laughs> sat down. I grab, moved. Grab, a, grab a chair. Uh, hang out. Th this place pretty comfortable. Y you know, uh, my only experience with ASAP Rocky, outside of the president... He's also so handsome. ...is Wild Now. <laughs> I really like Wild Now. It was, it was like the last bit of Wild Now, where they were like... One episode they talked about how how come he's already famous and he hasn't put out an album yet. <laughs> Which is fair. But he marketed himself. He did. There's a, I was gonna say, there's stuff over here. See, I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't get this in my game. The game? That shit glowing. It's a great ball. Nice. Logic, who replaced Lil Nas X on uh, the Twitch um, live show. Before Blink-182, Logic went on. Hmm. Before I grow my hair up, people used to tell me it looked like Logic. I can see it. I think it's the glasses. Yeah, brown glasses. He's, and he's light-skinned and I'm white. Yeah. 